Hello, everyone. I am back again with yet another review. This time we're going to review Female Furies Issue 2. If you expect any improvements, don't. It's just as bad, maybe even worse than the first issue. Here, we can see all the Furies and Granny Goodness ganging up on Ariel. At least I think that's how you pronounce your name. Ariel isn't hair isn't even the same color it is inside the comic. Here it's black. Inside it's red. Uh, this hi-fi guy, guy can't even color the hair right. At least I. Th Here, like in the last issue, I assumed it might have been a mistake, but the first page appears to be a a, a promo for a Teen Titans Deathstroke, Termin the Terminus Agenda. Yeah, that, that's great for us. Is that if that's actually the, the first page, it's just bad. The once again, the writer is Cecil Gastelucci, illustrator is Daniel Milo. Female Furies Part Two: Nasty Woman. Somehow that makes me feel a little bit worse. And we start with the with two Furies, Big Barda and Ariel, at a bar, the fire pit. They are talking about how they killed that guy and buried his body, and how Ariel should be getting back, forgetting what has happened to her, between her and Willick, and just get back to business. Big Barda still thinks what has happened to her, her is that he's, she's just getting special treatment. And they once again, they are pestered by more members of the Protectorate, they are actually looking for Steppenwolf's bastard, who they who they just buried. They're not going to tell anyone what happened. Big Barda had has had enough of their of their business and decides to start beating them up. This scene is good. It's good. The artwork is good, but I like the artwork in the last issue better. I think this this one panel just it's decent. It's has her punching, but uh, it's just like it, there's not much life to it. She punches the one guy and his compatriot, and guess who it is? It's it's Mr. Miracle, Scott Free. <laughs> this is before he and Big Barda become husband and wife. And he takes his friend away, saying that they're not worth it. And they sit back down to discuss it, hearing more information about the guy who they just killed. Who they're searching for more information. Big Barda says, stop lying about Willick to cover up your failings as a fury. She thinks that she's just lying about all of this, while Ariel is nearly, nearly at the breaking point. But Big Barda will have none of it. She wants her to st stop acting like a, li like a little girl. And just as you should expect it, guess who shows up but that Willick. Willick shows up. He's just, well, he's like a cockroach. And he once again, he puts the moves on Ariel. Uh, you got to wonder, is, are these actually the Furies, the female Furies of Apocalypse? She should be ki killing him. She is a warrior, one of the top assassins for Darkseid. Yes, he just felt up her thigh and now he's... Literally breathing down her neck. Come on, Ariel, kill him! You're a warrior of Apocalypse, one of Darkseid's furies. I say again, kill him! Later on, the Ariel is once again taking more grief from the rest of the furies, who they they all hate her because she they still think think it's a lie and that she's just getting special treatment and trained from Willick. And they refuse to believe her. She, he's even giving her presents. And here is where Mad Harriet gets her signature signature weapons. Her hand claws. At least as I understand. Because I've seen her in other issues where she actually had those weapons. Big Barter says, get up armor on. Granny's giving us a mission. They're about to go out on another mission. But she says, says that she can't do it. So... The Furies, Big Barda, and Lashina, and the rest, go out and do, to do Granny Goodness's wishes. Well, 
Ariel has to deal with the memories of what Willick has done to her. Oh. Oh. Do you remember Jack Kirby? Do you remember his issue, his characters? They were cool. This is not it. And Big Barda and Lashina steal what they were sent by great goodness to get. A lump of pink goo. It looks like flesh. Maybe, maybe brain matter. Maybe organs. I'm not quite sure. Whatever it is, even they don't really know what it is. They just follow orders. And guess what happens? A passing meteor strike hits that one place that Big Barda and Lish and Ariel had just been. And guess what? It uncovers the body. But this is good for them because it looks like he was looks like that guy was killed in some sort of meteor accident and not murdered. Well, good for them. Ariel is being tested by Granny Goodness. Granny Goodness is angry because she's been impregnated by Willick and she says that she, Ariel could ruin all she's planned. But the, but the, her baby is great for what she has planned next. She's going to conduct ex, an experiment. While Steppenwolf has ordered Ariel and, uh, to come with him and Willick for a mission. They are going out to assassinate one of the new gods. They're going to even kill their ch her children. She even says, no, this is wrong. While the others say Steppenwolf is never wrong. Well, she's an evil new god. She kills the mother of the two ch children she's going to assassinate next. And be before she does that, even though she has reservations, she probably breathes a sigh of relief because they teleport away by someone. She comes back having killed the mother but having accomplished her mission on that, but having failed to kill the two kids. Willick doesn't seem to care. He's just glad to see her. And once again, he starts pawing at her. And you can see the real hate in her eyes there. She looks like a little girl who's been messed with for the final time. And she wails on him. Enjoy this for what it is. You're not going to get anything better than this. Just enjoy Willick getting his butt kicked by him. Enjoy these panels while they last. She kicks. You disgusting oaf. This stops now as she kicks him the balls while she's doing a ballerina routine. And look at that pain. And finally finishing him off to a kick to the face, breaking his nose with a big crack. Steppenwolf finds this hilariously funny and thinks that she would have been a great warrior if she had been male. All she can do is be taken in by the other protectorate and looking at, looking at Will like she hates him. Well, if Willick has had enough, he goes to dark side like a silly little girl, trying to say it's not his fault that this has happened, because he's honest and he's a man, he's telling the truth. Dark side says he believes him. I'm not so sure I believe dark side. There's something more to this, I think. At least I hope. And once again, he, he chastises Granny Goodness, and both him and Willick walk away. Granny Goodness takes Ariel back to where she's then confronted and ridiculed by the other Furies while she is nearly breaking at the breaking point once again, maybe even beyond the breaking point. And this is all, this is so terrible. This is bad. It's not a good issue to read. And she, Granny Goodness, once again, has decided to use her experiment. She has fused Ariel's baby with, with the with the skin and flesh that she used to make some sort of weapon. And she has Tigra from the last issue who has been imprisoned. She uses Tigra to raise the child. She once again sends the Furies out on a mission to collect the, one of the forever people, the one named Beautiful Dreamer. She's going to use her for one of her plans. And here we are seeing the Furies attack the forever people. They clobber Beautiful Dreamer and Bear. They grab her away while Mad Harriet... May, laughs. Here we have beautiful Dreamer strapped down to a table while Granny Goodness is about to conduct her experiment on her to get what she wants from her. She's going to use beautiful Dreamer's power to transform her and the Furies to make their dreams come true, to make them stronger or to make all their, or at least make the re re reality. I'm not quite sure. Instead it brings forth their nightmares. Granny Goodness becomes an old woman. Mad Harriet is in a straitjacket. All of them are in misery and pain, and the issue ends with beautiful dreamers saying, you can't force beauty when you're a beast. And this is how the issue ends. It's not good. It might be a bit better than the, than the first issue, but it's nowhere any, it's, no, it isn't any better at all. If you like this issue, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe.
See, I'll see you all later. Signing out.